Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study sums with 7. That means addition problems where the answer or the total is 7. And I have them written out here where I have 7 balls, or maybe you want to think of them as 7 plums, in each of these boxes. But they are divided into two groups in different ways. For example here I have all 7 plums on this side, like one group and the other group has none. So we can write the addition 7 plus 0 equals 7. And on the other side there are none here, or 0, and then we add 7 from this group for a total of 7 again. Over here there are 6 on this side of the line and 1 here. 6 and 1 together make 7. And you can guess what goes here, right? Just take these two numbers and flip them you get 1 and 6 equals 7 too. Over here, 5 here and 2 here makes 7. Or the other way around, 2 and 5 makes 7. And the last way is 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 equals 7 or 3 plus 4 equals 7. Now notice something about this table where we have all these possible ways to make 7. When I start out here I have 7 and 0. If I go down this way I have 6 here. 7 and 6 and 5 and 4. A pattern. Or if I look at these second numbers I have 0, 1, 2 and 3. A pattern. Now let's go practice and drill. I want you to actually memorize these, remember these, okay? Study them maybe one more time until you feel you remember them. And then let's practice. I'm going to point to these problems and you try to remember what goes here in this blue box. These are all sums with 7. 3 and what number makes 7, okay? And try not to look here, even though the answers are here. 3 and what number makes 7? 4, right? 6 plus what number makes 7? 1. 2 plus how many makes 7? 5. 5 plus how many makes 7? 2. Right. 1 plus how many makes 7? 6. Correct. 4 plus how many makes 7? 3. Let's try one more time. 3, three plus how many makes 7? 6 plus how many makes 7? 2 and how many makes 7? 5 and how many more makes 7? 1 and what number makes 7? 4 and what number makes 7? Good job! Here's another way to write addition problems. We write 2 plus 3 and this is as if you're equals. Simple, sort of. It's just a line but your answer goes below the line. 2 plus 3, how much is it? 5. Write 5 here. 4 plus 2 equals 6. And then 0 plus 4 equals 4. And 3 plus 1 makes 4. And then 1 plus 5. Do you remember that from sums with 6? It is 6. Here's a word problem. Did you write it, Matthew? Yeah, he says he wrote it for you. Matthew has three cards. What kind of cards? Playing cards. This is like a card game. He wants to have five. Maybe in the game you have to have five cards in your hand. How many more does he need? He has three cards, but he needs to have five in his hand. So how many more does he need? Your fingers can help. He has three. Two more makes five. Two more. This is a little puzzle. I love puzzles. Matthew loves them too. And I'm sure you will learn to love math puzzles too. This puzzle, we need to put numbers in these empty boxes. And then the numbers have to be so that this number plus this number makes 5. And then this plus this has to make 4. But not only that, this and this has to make 6. And this and this has to make 3. Now don't worry if you get it wrong at first. Then that just means that you found a way that doesn't work, so you try some other way. For example, let's say I try some number plus num some number makes 5. I'll try 1 and 4. 
1 plus 4 makes 5. Then 1 plus how many makes 6? Okay, I can put 5 here. Then 5 plus how many makes 4? If you have 5, you cannot add any to it to make 4. So now I know this, this won't work. So I'll erase it. My problem is this number here, this 4, is too much. 4 plus how many makes 3? That won't work. Let me try 3 here. 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 makes 5. And then 3 plus how many makes 3? 0, right? Yeah, that works. Okay. How about here? 2 plus how many makes 6? That would be 4. And then I check this way. 4 plus 0? Yes, it equals 4. But that's not the only solution. There are, there are many different solutions. You could have here 3 plus 2 and still have a solution. Or you could have 4 plus 1. Many different solutions. So that's why I really like this puzzle. And Matthew does too. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.